Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first People Work Vodcast. Forgive me, I'm getting familiar with all of these new ways to help you guys get informed about what's going on with work, education, and using technology to help achieve your work, earn, learn, and connecting goals, as we say at People Work. So today I'm going to go through, I guess, really what's happening in, in conversation, uh, at least what's happening in conversation covered on the internet. And we're going to talk about today what's going on with all of the layoffs in the technology sector. And uh, particularly, I guess, before I get into some of the particularities of what's going on in the tech sector or maybe with the, um, the video game industry, all industries, all year, all day, every day, all organizations, whether it's your mom and pop shop uh, that you, you, know, you get your favorite food at or whether it's Apple, they are constantly evaluating the workforce and they want to make sure that the employees are really the, the best employees to accomplish their mission and vision and things change. So let's just talk about what is really going on with these layoffs, maybe the challenges that you could be facing as an individual. I mean, layoffs are always kind of like a scary word, even though it's a very predictable word. And sometimes people are just surprised of how predictable it is. I mean, companies, uh, especially the larger they are, they're already planning years in advance. And of course, when you're thinking, well, how do you know, you know, you're planning years in advance and how come me as a person who's impacted by this layoff, how come I just found out yesterday? Well, there's a lot of reasons why that. Um, the, the biggest one is that corporations don't know really how the individual is going to react. Like people work for our customers. Our job is to always be ready as those changes happen so that the company and people kind of walk into those transitions together, not just like slap in the face shock. Hey, I woke up with a job. Hey, I, I'm in the afternoon and I don't have a job. Um, that doesn't ever feel good, right? Uh, the supply and demand is really what is causing it. I'm looking at a few articles here and you kind of see this theme between what people are guessing that's happening in technology that's causing these layoffs, uh, technology companies, uh, what's causing these layoffs versus what may actually be causing them. Uh, let's see, some of them are talking about the shift in automation, uh, a need to increase profit, even uh, though revenue is actually skyrocketing. So that, let's just talk about business here, business mechanics. Like if you were the, the CEO of, of Google and you know that you have a responsibility to anybody who sh shares uh, shares in Google about the profitability, uh, you're, you're constantly trying to find ways to improve the margin. It's not evil, it's just business. And as long as you are aware of what drives business decisions as a as an individual, then you might be able to constantly be prepared for those change and not just be like super shocking. Uh, and then, of course, the, the reality of automation. I mean, automation has always been a thing from the pencil to the typewriter, to the typewriter, to the computer, to the computer, to the robot. Like, automation is always going to improve uh, the way that we do business. So. I mean, like that's the reality. If you think in your job that you are using technology now to do your own job faster, better, quicker, then you're kind of benefiting from it on an individual perspective. And the writing is kind of kept and obvious about who's who or what jobs or what you're doing for your job uh, is going to change. The um, the other uh, the other thing that I guess that's really being talked about in conversation, like on the people side, people get so I mean, it's your money, right? So you're getting emotional when you get laid off. But either way, um, the information, the more you know about the way businesses have to run and the more that the companies that you work for, if you choose companies, obviously the ones that are customers or people work, you know, they're going to try to make that transition. If it has to happen to your job, uh, they're going to try to use uh, our technology to help you make that change smoother. And also, I know it's hard to understand. There's a lot of like emotion and some like the reddit rants Ooh, i mean the reddit rants kind of make me scared about emotional intelligence but whatever it can might be is what it is but the uh the emotional response to losing your job it it's always going to be emotional but does it have to be erratic or do you need to go on a rant and a rave remember the other employers are going to find out who you are on the internet so maybe going off on a tangent is not going to be in your best interest. 
about talking trash about evil corporations and and what they're doing to as a conspiracy against you because believe it or not it's really not personal it may be political of who ended up staying in the company but it's certainly not personal um yeah that's kind of the theme of what's going on in terms of layoffs so remember layoffs are uh they're part of a healthy economy a healthy business that helps to refresh jobs it helps to refresh people yes there can be emotional tension around it but if you're using something like people work for yourself or you're working for a company that uses it, uh, you we can reduce that kind of friction that it's just part of the market, right? So if you have any questions, comments, or topics that you want us to review and discuss or for me to give my two cents on, um, share it. Let us know. We're glad to, we're glad to talk about these things because these things really matter.